everyone, I've just got back from Morrison's and Lidl. I really needed to do a big food shop and I had to go in that direction to get passport photos done as well. So I know I don't normally go to Lidl or Morrison's, but I thought I would switch it up as I was there. So this is everything I got from Lidl. I spent about £100 in Lidl. And yeah, I got quite a lot actually, because a lot of their meat was on the orange stickers that I'm going to freeze. So I was quite glad actually that I went. So yeah, but I will show you everything I got. So first up, eggs. We've all been loving eggs, so I got 15 needed dog food as well so i've just got a bag of dog food to go with her other like wet food two lots of bleach for the toilets um the girls picked up some of these chocolate muesli bars i should have got two packs because there's only eight in there and with three girls in the house plus me and maybe my husband they'll disappear so quickly um i've also got a box of crackers i think we've got one in the pantry already and then I needed some more plain flour for Yorkshire puddings, pancakes, things like that. So I just got one of those. And then Sienna and Aria came with me. They had a inset day today, but Roma doesn't. So it's actually been nice spending time with the older two. Sienna chose this 18 variety pack of crisps. So there's like Watsits, onion rings, and then the salt and vinegar sticks. I got some pantry basics. So I just got a pasta sauce. Then I got four chopped tomatoes, a diet cola. So I love that with ice cubes when it's hot. So I just got a bottle of that. Then Aria chose some juices, but she got the orange. I think they were about 90p each, which is quite good. They're quite big bottles and we needed squash anyway. So she got the orange and then she got the cherries and berries back there as well. We needed olive oil, so I got a two litre, oh no, a one litre, I thought I got two litre, I should have got two. Um, that will last a little bit anyway, I'll get another one next week. We got some cereals, we got blueberry wheats, we got choco shells, these are my favourite from Lidl, I love these. It's a little treat. Got some honey nut cornflakes, some muesli, and then Aria has been loving Weetabix at the moment. So I just got their box of 36 like own brand ones. Oh, we have got just some white bread for the girls' lunch boxes. We've already got some best of both over there, which I like, but they like proper white bread for their sandwiches. So I just got that. Some rolls for some burgers or like lunches. Two lots of brioche rolls, chocolate chip brioche rolls. Um, what else have we got here? I'll do the meat now. So they had a lot of meat reduced, so I'm gonna freeze it all. I freeze my meat anyway, so it makes sense to just get it when it's on offer. So there's a garlic and herb roast in the chicken. Roast in the chicken bag? Roast in the bag, whole chicken. Um, and it was 4 39 down to £3.07. So that's quite good, because that will feed us all. So £3.00 basically for a meal because you can add veggies and potatoes for very little like cost that is a good cheap meal to share between all of us and we all love a good roast chicken so yeah i'll freeze that got some extra lean turkey mints again it's a 500 grams it was uh 3.49 down to 2.44 so again that's under two pounds under three pounds <laughs> i am not with it today it's under three pounds and that will do a nice bolognese with some chopped tomatoes, some veggies and some spaghetti. Again, it's another affordable, really affordable meal for five of us. I got these. The girls don't really like beef burgers, but me and Warren do. And they were 2 99 down to 2 09 So not the most affordable, but I really fancied them. So I just got four um, of those they had the chicken chipolatas 199 down to 139 so i just got those as well we like those for breakfast with eggs and hash browns some maple barbecue pork 279 down from 399 again i'll cut this up and put in like a stir fry just as a change from like plain chicken it will just add a bit of flavor 
up 24 meatballs they weren't reduced but they were on my list anyway and then i needed some goujons and i saw this family pack which i thought was really good so it doesn't actually say how many's in there but it's 700 grams which i think would probably do us two meals if we make our own pizzas and then we have some like chicken goujons on the side some sweet corn some garlic bread some salad that will do two meals so that's good we got some macaroni they were out of all of their really cheap pasta so i just got one bag of macaroni and i'll stock up on pasta next week aria chose some like mini cheddars but the snack tastic brand i got some of these jam and cream biscuits these are my favorite and i want to have those with a cup of tea in a minute and then I got these crunchy cake bars. They were only 90p in Lidl. We got baby potatoes and baking potatoes, two garlic breads. Um, we've got skimmed milk. We've got apples, two cucumbers over there. Got a lot of fruit and veg because we were totally out. Our fruit door was empty and I've already topped up twice this week from the local shop. They are just loving the fruit. I've got a pack of three avocados, some broccoli, a watermelon, which is quite big actually, and a good price from Lidl, some bananas, two lots of peppers, a salad that opened in the car, but I was going to have that for lunch with jacket potatoes, and then they have this massive bag of spinach for 90p so i'm gonna wash it and then i freeze it i add it to spaghetti bolognese omelettes we add it to banana smoothies um so we use a lot of spinach so i thought that was a massive bag how big is it 450 grams for 90p so that's quite good got two lots of strawberries some blueberries some grapes some raspberries i got some dark chocolate two lots of the yogurt tubes these are only 95p and there's actually nine in there whereas i think the tubes i get from tesco there's only six in there for a pound so that's a little bit better so i've got two of those i've got some guacamole and some hummus i got four of these mainly for warren but the girls might eat them as well some strawberry protein yogurts We've got some mozzarella for making our own pizzas, some cheese slices for our burgers. And then I've got this 800 gram block of cheese because we're going through a lot of cheese as well. Um, so the 400 just doesn't last very long. So the 800 was about £3.70, I think, £3.80. So I thought that was quite good. And I think that's everything here. But I've got another two bags from Morrison's as well, because like I said, we needed everything. We were completely like out of freezer stuff, out of pantry stuff. I needed a good stock up. So that was my £100 from Lidl. I'm going to put all this away and then I'll show you what I got from Morrison's as well. I spent £50 in Morrison's. Okay, so then this is everything I got from Morrison's. The main reason I went to both is because actually Lidl's freezers were like completely empty and I had a few things that I needed to replenish. So I went to Morrison's and then you know how it goes, ended up getting more as well. But we did need most of this stuff. So I got some French fries and some peas. I got some um, of the frozen cocktail sausage rolls. I'm gonna cook these in a minute actually, keep in the fridge for the weekend and then lunch boxes next week. We've got a casserole mix. I'm gonna use this tonight with some sausages and apricot jam. It's a really nice like sticky tray bake. So we're gonna have that for dinner. And then I really fancy fancied onion rings at some point next week. So I got some of those. Um, I got these hash brown waffles. I'm gonna do like a breakfast casserole, probably with the chicken sausages i got from lidl hash browns eggs we've got loads of bacon in the freezer as well make like a little breakfast casserole for the weekend i got four porridge pots mainly because Ari wanted them she likes these as an after school snack to fill her up a bit more 
And then I actually got some Capri Sun. I'm going to try and keep these back for the summer holidays. I'm starting on my stock for that now. Uh, they were two for four pounds. So 16 drinks for four pounds, which I think is really good. And they're the no added sugar ones as well. So I'll probably keep a box in the boot of the car, if not both of them. So that when we go on days out, we have drinks on hand. Because otherwise, you know, with three kids and you're out and about, days out can cost an absolute fortune. So I'm going to start stocking up my supplies for then. Um, we've got some peach slices and juice just to have in the pantry for if we run out of fresh fruit. I got some baked beans. Um, the Outpro mango was on offer. So I got this for the girls. They're loving um, yogurt and muesli for breakfast with some fruit. So I got two lots of that. And then I thought I'd actually try this for myself. They are dairy free. They were only £1.50, which is quite good because it is a big pot, a 400 gram pot, um, £1.50. They're a good brand and they just looked and sounded really good. So this is the passion fruit one. And then I got two of the raspberry ones because I've been really craving like yogurt and fruit for breakfast as well. I think where it's been hot, I haven't really wanted much that's heavy. Um, so I'm going to try those and see what they're like. Can't wait to have one for lunch. Uh, I got crumpets for breakfast. I saw someone have ham and cheese crumpets for lunch and it just looked really good. So I got some of that to try. Um, the girls talked me into these 10 unicorn nuggets for Roma she will love these to be honest um and she's got really fussy with their eating again so I thought maybe that might just help a little bit we got some caramel rice cakes to have with like peanut butter and banana I got another big pack of ham for uh, school lunches and my lunches for work for next week Sienna said she had these at a friend's house who so talked me into buying these. They are orange and passion fruit waters. There's only three for 75p, but I thought they can have one each. If I keep them in the fridge, they'll be nice and cold. I picked up these reduced pitters just to chuck in the freezer. We love pitters with hummus, especially with like a piri piri sauce. You used to be able to buy the Nando's one from Tesco, but they don't do it anymore. So I try and make my own. Got some noodles for a stir fry. Some days when we are short on time, it is easy to just chuck one of these in their bags. And I know they've got their snack for school because they're only really allowed fruit. I try and prep, but you know what it's like. They're just easy. Or I might keep these in the car for summer holiday snacks, maybe. I don't know, because they don't go off. I've got two frozen mac and cheeses. Again, just to have in the freezer, it's easy for a quick dinner for the girls after dance or whatever. The same with these pizza baguettes. I do make my own pizza, but some nights I just can't be bothered. We'll just put these in or they can have them cold in their lunch boxes as well. I got two lots of my moisturizer, which was actually on offer as well, which is good. Some saline for Warren, and then we've just got some almond and oat milks. And that's about it. So that was 50 pounds in Morrison. So I spent 150 pounds in total, but I think I've got a lot of food, a lot of meal options, um, and a few bits to put back for summer holidays as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, that is my grocery haul for this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.